We went to the Vietnamese market and this is everything we got. If you have any suggestions on how I could use each ingredient, please let me know. I'd love to hear your creative ideas. Grated purple yam or ube. I know some of you have been asking me for some more ube recipes, so I bought this just so I could play around with it. These are shirataki noodles aka yam noodles. So these kind of have like a crunchy jelly texture. It doesn't have the spring of like a wheat noodle, but these are pretty good. I like throwing them into soups or stir frying them for a little bit. This one, I have not seen this one before, but it says frozen gourami fish with eggs, wild caught. So I bought it because it has eggs with a fish. I like eating fish eggs. We'll see what recipe I decide to come up with for this one. I have coconut milk for any savory and sweet recipes I wanna make. Beans, I got mung beans, kidney beans, and garbanzo beans. I wanna introduce more fiber into my diet. Filipino hot dogs. You know that they're Filipino hot dogs because they're like a vibrant red color. I don't eat these often, but I do wanna showcase them in a few recipes. Sliced green chili and vinegar. I love putting these in like my egg noodle soups or really any soup. They're sour and a little bit spicy. It adds really good flavor to really any dish that I put this in. Oh, this is soybean cake and it says fresh daily. So this is tofu and it's still warm. I think this was made today. Doug and I just wanted to try it to see what the taste is like compared to the ones that are in those plastic containers. Okay, beetroot rice paper and pumpkin rice paper. I don't know if these will taste like what they say they would or maybe it's just for color, but I can't wait to try these out. Lisa always makes me hungry with all her rice paper videos. Mint for spring rolls and to just eat with soups and other dishes. Oh, it smells good. And this one, I forgot what this is called. Doug, do you remember what this one is called? The one with the purple leaves? Uh, no. I'm gonna look up what this is called, but it doesn't have as strong of an herbal flavor like mint does, but it still has that kind of herbal taste. I love eating this with soups or putting it in spring rolls. Doug got this, it's an herbal mix, and the instructions just say to boil it in water and then you can add your favorite meat in here. We've never used this before. If you've used this before, let us know how you make things with it. And finally, this is nokmam, which is for dipping your spring rolls and summer rolls into. I tried to make it the first time we made spring rolls here and it, it wasn't good, so I just decided to buy a bottle. That was such a fun haul. Were any of these ingredients new for you? 